Hey y'all, welcome back to Shanky JRPGs. Fellow Super Retro Force member, Iowa Retro Gamer Dad, issued me a challenge to talk about the games that shaped me as a gamer. I accept your challenge. Let's get into it. We all have those games, the ones that got us into the medium of video games. Today, thanks to Iowa Retro Gamer Dad's challenge, I am here to talk about three games that have been incredibly influential and shaped me into the gamer you see before you today. I accept your challenge, good sir. Now, it will be pretty natural that it will be very JRPG oriented, however, there may be a bit of a curveball thrown your way. But before we get into the whole nitty gritty, do you love JRPGs? Do you want to hear a neat cactus talk about all kinds of JRPGs? What about various lists and reviews? If you do, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comments below what games shaped you as a gamer. Or even better, leave a video response and I will be sure to check it out. With that being said, enough talk, time to get into today's video. These are three video games that shaped me as the gamer you see before you today. For the first game that shaped me as a gamer, I feel the need to mention the original Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest was the first game that I ever played, and it began the lifelong love for video games that's continuing more than 30 years later. I played Dragon Quest before I was even in kindergarten, and it was an incredible experience. Did I have any idea what I was doing? No. Did this start my love for JRPGs? Honestly, not really. I was four years old. I just liked the flashy colors, but I did like that when I pressed buttons on the controller, it made things happen on the screen. I was in love with the little monsters, the little fella on the screen walking around aimlessly, as well as being read the story on the screen by my babysitter. It wouldn't be until much later that I would begin my love for JRPGs, but we'll get into that a little bit later. To this very day, Dragon Quest remains one of my favorite series, and it all began way back in 1990 with the original Dragon Quest on the NES. It's amazing that such a simple experience birthed an eternal hobby and passion that would not only follow me for all my days, but would also lead to me sharing my experiences with all of you. Dragon Quest was the beginning of this, but little did I know at the time, that one genre would follow me forever. Not because of this game, but the next one I'm going to talk about here. The second game that shaped me as a gamer, and really made me fall in love with the genre of JRPGs as you all see before you, is Wild Arms 2. What a strange game to get you addicted to JRPGs, right? Looking back at it now, it really wasn't anything too special. It has so many translation errors, the gameplay is incredibly simplistic, and the story really doesn't do anything special. However, with all of that being said, Wild Arms 2 means so much to me as a gamer. After playing Dragon Quest as a toddler, I did get my own Super Nintendo and I did play games, but a lot of these games were relatively simple in nature. Donkey Kong Country, F-Zero, Mario, nothing too spectacular. Just the exact kinds of games you would expect a kid to play. But then I got a PlayStation for my birthday and that's when the floodgates opened. Now, I didn't get any JRPGs when I got my PlayStation. I think I got Crash Bandicoot 2 and I think it was called C12 Final Resistance. Some third person shooter. Both interesting games, but I wasn't a huge fan of either. However, lucky for me, my friend had just finished Wild Arms 2 and lent me his copy of it. I popped that game in and I was greeted by that classic PlayStation startup sound. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Anyways, once I started the game, my mind was blown. What are these 3D graphics? What is this amazing music? What is going on here? This is so different from the games I've been playing. So I chose Ashley to start, and the moment that battle music hit, I was like, okay, I'm a fan. I want more games like this. This is amazing. 
I was so happy. I had just found a genre that I was born to play, and my addiction to JRPGs had just been reborn. As you can clearly see, I never got over it, and I don't plan to. I love my JRPGs to this day, and that will continue for many years to come. As for the third game, stay tuned. The answer may surprise you. What? Non-JRPG content on a JRPG channel? Alert the YouTube police! This is a violation! Okay, okay, calm your potatoes. Something I haven't really mentioned before, because I tend to focus on my one true gaming love that is JRPGs, is the fact that I really do enjoy my fighting games. I dabbled a bit in the arcade and on the Super Nintendo with Street Fighter 2, but I didn't really get into them until Street Fighter 4. I don't know if it was the graphics, the online community, or just the fact that I had friends that played it too, but I really got into it to a point where it was all I ever played. Even to this day, I still play fighters. Street Fighter 4 still remains my favorite fighter. However, as fighters age, they become less and less relevant, especially in this online era. As such, I have moved on to Street Fighter 6. Fighters are now that genre that I play when I need a break from RPGs to prevent that burnout, because burnout can and will happen if you play the same genre constantly. Even I need a break every now and then. Fighters are the perfect game to do that. I can shut off my brain, and just body whoever the matchmaking decides to pit me against. With that being said, Street Fighter 4 really gave me a new view on things, and strangely enough, it gave me that competitive edge. I know online competitive games aren't for a lot of people, and to some, they're even stressful. But for me, getting those wins and seeing your rank goes up is really just something I enjoy. And it's something JRPGs can't satisfy. I play both genres for different reasons, and one genre will never be able to replace the other. For this reason, Street Fighter 4 gave me that competitive feeling and shaped part of me as a gamer to this very day. So there we have it, three games that have very much so influenced me as a gamer, and turn me into the gamer and YouTuber that you see before you. We all have those games that are incredibly important to us, games that we cherish, games that will always be a part of your personality. Now that you've heard mine, I want to hear yours. Let me know what games shaped you as a gamer. Let me know in the comments below, or as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, maybe leave me a video response. And hey, if you enjoyed this little glance into the gamer that is Shinky, and would like all sorts of JRPG content, make sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and ding that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future content. This has been Shinky, thanks for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day. Super Retro Force.